Hi guys and girls, welcome to Zilla Camps. Um, we've got a, a kind of exciting announcement to make. Um, I don't know if you've noticed over the last few weeks or probably about a month, we haven't actually yeah. been putting much content up and that is because we've been quite busy with a project. Um, something I've wanted to do really since, or something we've wanted to do since yeah. we started the channel, what, 18 months ago or so? Yeah, exactly. And it is making or recording a bank of speakers hmm. um, in a, like, keeping things as consistent as we can and recording the, well, initially we wanted to do a big one, like 50 speakers. I think we actually got to, what, about 25 or something? Yeah, maybe a little bit more than that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, what we wanted to do was we get a whole bunch of amps, use the same cab, keep mic placement all the same, and that kind of limited us mm. to putting out other other videos. So yeah, what we what we've done here is made a big project so we can make a bunch of speaker comparison videos, um, which I don't know about you, but they're they're really useful to listen to um, yeah. if if you want to hear how one speaker compares to another back to back with fast changes. Yeah, yeah, we'll be able to just bring those out so um something that's come up over the last few months which um is is really interesting to me is some of the um the comments that we've been that have been like emailed through or left on the on the videos that we've made of uh speaker comparisons in the past mm. and some of the suggestions have been what I would quite often consider to be not oddball but something that I wouldn't necessarily think of Right. So doing this bank yeah. allows us to take this and match it with that. Yeah. And the cool thing about doing it this way is we can also um, blend them. Mm. So you can kind of approximate what they would sound like together in a two by 12. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the way we've done this, um, anyone who's seen some of our recent videos might have noticed a little wall of uh, amplifiers next to me in those. Um, we needed a cab to put all the speakers in, obviously, um, and we thought that we wanted something fairly large, but it's going to be a one by twelve to make changing out speakers pretty straightforward. Yeah. So we went with our fat baby, which um, gets a lot of use in the studio. Um, yeah, just a really great sounding cab that one. This cab's a, a closed back. The yeah. reason we went for a closed back rather than an open back was we've used a few different. We've gone through a few different styles here, mm. um, and. The general kind of rule of thumb is if you're playing heavier music, it will lend itself to closed back. Mm. But even though cleaner styles often maybe lend themselves to open backs a bit more, you can still get really good, clean sounds with a closed back. Yeah. So, yeah, if you wanted to get metal tones, you, you wouldn't go to an open back cab really would you um, but you can get the other side of tones with a closed backers too so yeah. yeah so I think there are a couple of compromises here yeah. with, with that kind of stuff but if you're going to keep things consistent mm. um, and I think the, the cabinet itself is a key key part of that then you know. yeah all right let's have a listen to uh, some of the sounds then so the first clip we'll listen to is the clean sound uh, I recorded this on the Strat uh, into the diesel Schmidt um, I should say that I recorded each sound sample into the computer as well, so it's, it's the computer is playing back my guitar performance essentially in, into the amp each time just to make it repeatable to get each speaker recorded. So, um, What speaker did you use? So for this one I picked, uh, what did I pick, the, the Celestian Blue on the Eco. I thought it sounded pretty cool, so um, yeah, here we go. <laughs>
All right, so I, I think you made a good choice there. Um, cool. Alnico Blue, maybe this is one of those speakers where it would have lent itself slightly better to a, to an open back, so just yeah. bear that in mind. But I think that sounded really cool anyway. I think it was a great choice of amp. Um, yeah, that's a great clean sound, this not it? Yeah, yeah, and the Strat just always sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so next, what did you do next? Uh, so the, sort of moving along in gain range I suppose would be the appropriate way to do it is um, again the Strat into the Laney okay. uh, with a sort of bluesy kind of sound I guess um, and yeah. the speaker what did I pick for this one G1265 okay cool Again, I think that is just a, a classic combination. Mm. I love the um, the lane. <laughs> they called it a two rock. <laughs> yeah, you can call it two rock if you want. <laughs> I was just stick a little badge on the front of it. No, no, the way it sounds. I, I love <laughs> the I love the laney for that kind of playing. I think it sounds great. Mm. Um, I think you made a great choice of speaker G twelve sixty five for that. Um, I if, mean, if I may, um, and maybe it's too early to talk about this, but. I think this maybe throws up the the downside of this style of comparison. Yeah, actually, um, yeah. is that the G twelve sixty five is one of our favourite speakers, isn't it? Yeah. But I think that speaker in particular sometimes needs a little bit more treble from an amp. Yeah. So that's something to bear in mind as well when you're listening to these comparisons. Is that the the amp settings are all the same? I've tried to pick somewhere that sounds pretty good for everything. Yeah. Um, but one or two speakers, you can get a bit more life out of them by tweaking them different ways. But yeah, I think that's it. that is probably the biggest compromise mm. in this kind of video. Um, every single aspect of doing something like this, um, you can either keep things consistent, yeah, or you can choose the best situation for that that speaker. Yeah, um, and that in itself could introduce um, bias in the fact that I am going to tweak the amp different to you, are going to mm -hmm. tweak and it's going to, you know, and you guys are as well. So that's why we went for the consistency. Yeah. Yeah, by showing what this, it's the same information going in, into each speaker. So it's, yeah, that's as far as we could do it really. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Next up is classic rock. Um, and what better amp than a 100 watt Marshall JMP? Yep. Uh, with a Pori Smith, so yeah, I think what speakers did they pick for this one? Uh, oh, H Heritage 75 hertz. Current, yeah, so. that's kind of classic combination. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, one thing to point out here is, um, I guess this is the disclaimer, is that's a 100 watt amp and you chose a 30 watt speaker. <laughs> yeah, right. right. We've um, done all this in a 1x12, as we said before. Mm. So obviously most of these speakers aren't 100 watts, but no. we're not putting 100 watts through. We're not putting anywhere close. I mean, they were loud. They, mm. The speakers were moving, but I mean, it's probably, what, 15 watts, something like that, 20 yeah, watts. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's louder than you'd want in anyone's house, but yeah, yeah it's, it's where the amp's sounding decent, so. Yeah, I think that's a great, that's kind of almost my go-to setup there. Yeah. Love love those amps, um, love the speakers, and I think it's it's actually a really good cab to have that in if it's mm. 1 by 12 um, Right, next up, we're going up through the game. What have we got there? Yeah, uh, so you asked me to do some 80s metal, so um, I picked a Silver Jubilee. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Paul Smith again, tuned in the standard, and I guess it's kind of like old school Metallica a little bit. Um, and there's a lead track on this one as well, so there's like two guitar parts. Yeah. And the speaker I went with was Vintage 30. So, okay. um, Classic. when did they come out? Is it late 80s? They, yeah, I think they came out alongside the Silver Jubilees, I think. Oh, there you go, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> good match. I might be wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> So I think we just said that before the sound clip came up, but that's a to me that's a classic combination. Yeah. Finish thirty, silver jubilee. That um, sounds great for that stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that sounds great. So we're going up through the um, through the the gain. Yeah, the last clip is um, me playing some sort of metal, modern metal kind of stuff, I guess, on um, my Ibanez, which is tuned to C sharp standard, and this is into a fifty one fifty, a PV one PV fifty one fifty. Uh, and the speaker this time is, bizarrely, I suppose, a Kareem Alnico. <laughs> I think that's a, um, one of those surprise combinations or yeah. like not, no, I don't mean surprise because it's a, it's a great speaker mm. and you can do almost anything with it, but it's, it's I not one you'd instantly think of for that. Our Nikos, sort of thing, we've done, we've done videos on our Nikos before and we've pushed them mm. and played heavy stuff, but it's, um, it's one of those things that I think you might not necessarily think of first. I don't know whether it's something to do with maybe the high power handling of that speaker, but it does sit slightly apart from the others in my mind. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, you know what? I, th I think, personally, I think it sits quite relatively close to the blue. Right. But this, the power handling means you can do almost anything. Yeah. It? Whereas with the blue, it restricts you so much to, mm. to what you can do. Um, but yeah, I know what you mean. It definitely sits apart from the ruby and yeah. the gold. Yeah. All right, something else we did... Um, as we were going along, uh, recorded all the tracks, and then we recorded uh, or we captured an yeah. impulse. Yeah. So um, I had every, every speaker has uh, captured an impulse response of the, of the setup as well. So um, I think we're going to try and make those available, aren't we? So. Yeah. We're hoping to find some way of um, releasing them to you, maybe as and when or whatever. We haven't quite figured out how we're going to do it yet. <laughs> so I'm sure there'll be a video when we finally um, yeah. figure that out. Any suggestions? <laughs> if you've done this before, let us know. Um, um, yeah, so it, as well as being able to hear them, then you can sort of load it into your, into whatever thing you put your impulses into and uh, try it out yourself. Yep. So I think Paul mentioned briefly earlier on that one of the cool things from this is going to be um, having access to blending speakers together. So uh, we can make it an imaginary 2x12 of any of these speakers. Well, yep. we can do whatever we want. We can make... 
Nine by twelve. Three, <laughs> three, three by twelve. <laughs> but I think I think here in pairs is pretty <laughs> p- bit more useful, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna do that first video. <laughs> Seven by twelve. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I'm really interested in hearing some mixes with the classic lead eighty mm. because we haven't really we don't really do that many I mean we've been going yeah. for 15 years and every well I'm not going to say every week but every month there's a, a new combination that I've never really tried before yeah and like you we mess around with stuff and you, you do stuff for fun but because if you've got to, um, what access to about 40 50 speakers you can't combine them all mm. if you do you can't remember <laughs> what they sound like <laughs> Um, so I'm really interested in hearing some of the classic leads. Yeah. I, I don't know about you, but for me, when you've got like access to all the different speakers and you know which ones you like, you tend to just stick with the ones you like and sort of some of the, the kid in a toy shop stuff kind of gets removed away, doesn't it? It does a little bit. Yeah, like me playing a Les Paul with a JMP all the time. <laughs> um, but the, the other cool thing about this is um, why I wanted to get such a, uh, a big bank was the... The mixes here are almost endless. We can do, like I was saying, the A, Bs, but we can also do a classic lead and see how the classic lead sounds against 20 different speakers. Yeah. Because if you look, say, for instance, you love a classic lead, or a lot of people want a vintage 30 in because they know what it's going to sound like in the studio, mm. know what it's going to sound like live. It's, a, um, it's just industry standard, yeah. and it's kind of good to have one in. Mm. Uh, but they're wondering what the second speaker is. And um, like a H cream back would be an, an obvious choice, yeah. a really popular one, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best one, even though it's it's going to sound great or mm. the best for that player. Yeah, yeah. So here, say we'll be able to do a video of vintage thirties with a whole bunch of different speakers, mm. um, and we can do a uh, seven by twelve. <laughs> see what a, a vintage thirty, a classic lead, a neo cream. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so, okay, well, um, the, all these will be coming, I think, well, because we've got so many speakers here, I think we've probably got about a year's worth of videos, so we'll be mixing... A lot of editing to do. Yeah, a lot of editing. <laughs> we'll be mixing these in um, as we go through the year. So uh, a big a big thing is we want your input. We mm. want to hear... I mean, there's videos that I want to do. There's, I'm sure there's videos you want to do. But we want to hear what, what you want to do. This part of the reason we did this yeah. is because some of the suggestions we've got in the past have been just stuff we haven't thought. Absolutely, yeah. And if you're, um, yeah, this is a perfect opportunity if you're thinking of getting a 2 by 12 and you want to know what one speaker sounds like with another one, yep. then we can, we can make that for you and you can hear how they sound blended together. So, um, yeah, let us know in the comments below if there's anything in particular you want to see. And as usual, please uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Um, hit the bell icon for notifications, give the video a thumbs up and a share and all that stuff and uh, we'll see you in another video very soon.